Welcome back guys. Today we are back on the Mustang. So as you guys know, in the last video, we did get it painted. And uh, so now it's time to assemble it all. We've already got the subframe mounted up there. And uh, we thought that we were going to have issues with the subframe, but we actually straightened the little horns that were bent and put it back on there and it fits real nice. So hopefully we'll be able to align the car and it'll drive straight and everything. If not, worst case scenario, it can be replaced later. But if everything bolts right up, everything lines up. So, uh, so far we're doing good on the subframe, which that saves Mike like 800 bucks, which that's a really good thing. Cause we're always trying to save some money for ourselves and for the customer. So uh, now we need to go ahead and bolt down the engine mount and uh, put Probably. all the accessories yeah. onto the engine. All right, so we've got the battery box in, ready for the battery. We'll probably go to Chuck's and grab that. And then uh, got the ECU installed. We've got the fuse box installed. Nate is reinstalling the brake lines as we speak. We've got the cross bent member here installed, even the cowl. A uh, lot going on, a lot going on.
Okay, so we got the Mustang outside and uh, everything looks good so far. She's basically ready for body work. Uh, like I said before, we are waiting for the radiator. It's on back order and uh, should be here in the next couple of days. We'll be able to get all the mechanical stuff buttoned up. But yeah, she's basically ready to hit the body work shop, AKA 23rd Garage. <laughs> we hate body work. Body, especially like we didn't even know uh, that this roof was damaged. Like when I was giving a mic a quote and stuff and I was looking at the car, I never even looked up here. So I never even knew that this entire roof is damaged. And looking at the pictures from the accident, the hood was not damaged. And then when we got the car, the hood was all damaged. You could tell that it had popped up uh, going down the road. So what I think happened was when they were towing the car back to the house or wherever, uh, the hood got you know, it popped up, they didn't strap it down and it damaged that roof. I don't know, he may have replaced that glass because it was probably crushed, but I don't know. I guess we'll let Mike tell us what actually happened there. Uh, so yeah, Mike, drop in the comment section what actually happened with the hood. Because from the pictures we've seen, you know, it was fine. I don't know if it was a rollback guy or if it was Mike or Mike's buddy, but yeah, it's it's unfortunate because the other hood looked like it could have been saved. Although it did have a lot of Bondo on it. So maybe it's a good thing that that happened. Uh, now we got a brand new factory hood. Perfect. No damage. So. Yeah, there's not much body filler on this car, honestly. Well, it's just that roof. And the thing about the roof is it's, it's, it's a curved surface. So it's really hard to get that perfect, you know. It, it takes a lot of time and effort and skill to get a curved surface bondoed out real nice but we do have the maxi dent puller here uh thanks to v-tuned and uh the maxi dent people <laughs> but uh we will be using that on the roof so stay tuned for that uh but for now uh we're putting a hold on this for just a couple of days uh we've got another car on the frame rack you guys are gonna be super excited to see it. So let's go over there and check out what's on there. So here we are at the rack and this is my E92. We have already started stripping it. We've got the door off of it. We've got the almost all the interior off of it. Uh, basically took the ceiling out and everything in this corner. Uh, the reason we took the ceiling out is because we have to do the airbags anyways, might as well, you know, keep that roof away from sparks and stuff. But yeah, so tomorrow we're going to jump on this thing with Ben. Uh, we're gonna do a collaboration and uh, knock out the framework on this thing. And then as soon as the framework is done on here and I can get a door on it and get the windows closed and everything, then we'll park this one and jump back on the Mustang and do the body work on the Mustang. And hopefully by then we'll have a radiator and uh, whatever else little pieces we're missing in the front. So we'll have that thing buttoned up and ready for paint. Uh, so if everything goes well, that's the plan. So let me know what you guys think. Also, if you enjoyed the comment, <laughs> also if you enjoyed the content, hit that like button. And if you are interested in seeing this beautiful machine right here get all fixed up, hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell notifications. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.